players engage with the game. That's, That's awesome. really cool. That's, awesome. That's really cool. So uh, I also know that the, the single player campaign is a big deal for you guys. Uh, you guys were kind enough to answer some questions from PlayStation readers uh, just a week or two back, right before E3. Yeah. Uh, got a little more out of you about exactly, you know, what, what's what's happening on the story front. But just tell me about the setup. Tell me about our protagonist, uh, Red Daniels. Well, you know, Red is uh, like, you know, uh, hundreds of thousands of, uh, of guys back then enlisted in the war and, uh, you know, wanted to make a difference. Having no idea what was going on, right, and the first... Uh, the first tour of, du tour of duty is on Normandy and uh, D-Day, and that was a, you know, a, a big thing for a lot of people. So you're experiencing uh, a squadron that is in the, uh, or a platoon that is in the, the first division that goes across, uh, it starts in Normandy, goes all the way across France, Belgium, and into uh, Germany. It's, uh, and some of the biggest battles of World War II, from Battle of the Bulge to Hurricane Forest, and and the liberation of Paris. Now, I know you guys are focusing on that European front for the campaign, yes. but I think I caught a hint that maybe it might expand a bit on the multiplayer side. So what are you at liberty to say at this point in time? <laughs> well, we showed a lot in the trailer. You're catching part of it here. This is yeah. the Ardennes Forest, uh, which extends from Belgium to Germany. We will take you around Europe to the border of Russia, to the tip of Africa in Gibraltar. Cool. Excellent. Unique locations to multiplayer as well as some of the most iconic ones from the campaign. And of course, in the war mode, we have custom built yeah. maps for that mode as well. Yeah, let's talk about that war mode because yeah. this is something uh, I've been real curious about. Yeah. So. Yeah, war is exciting for us. I mean, multiplayer in Call of Duty, we love it. We have the most fun ever with yeah. it. But it's largely a lone wolf experience, right? You're fighting on a team, but you're really fighting as a lone wolf. And, Three years ago, we really wanted to bring to life this concept of real teamwork. Yeah. And World War II was about that. It was about your squad. And so war is that experience. It's funneling true axis and allied collision of forces into these very strategic examples. You're seeing right here, they're trying to capture the manor. Well, the axis team, the Germans are trying to defend it. So we've built custom maps that allow you to move through these series of asymmetrical objectives as you fight to take um, hollow ground. That's cool, and, and, and this is great footage. I actually uh, hadn't seen this yet, uh, but just, it's it's so interesting, like the, the, the firepower that was used back then. I mean, it's so, it's yeah. so, um, brutal in some ways compared to the, you know, the, the sleek, futuristic kind of yeah. weaponry we see nowadays. So I'm kind of curious, like these weapons have a lot of character in their own way. And, and, and how do you maybe adjust like how you design the game or how you design the multiplayer experience around that? Around the different weapons? Well, I yeah. mean, it's, you know, you're, you're jumping there. Mike. But, uh, you know, with all the iconic weapons that we have in World War II, it's funny because when we first started, we didn't think there were gonna be that as many as we found. Right, we were a little worried about the uh, variety, but now with the variety and the amount of weapon power, and like you said, some of them are really brute force weapons. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, you can find the weapon that you really want to play with, that's for sure, with uh, with this game. Yeah, I mean, the signatures back then were really meaningful. So whether you're running with uh, the MG42, this big machine gun, yeah. German machine gun, or Run. the Winchester trench gun with your incendiary shells, or you've all heard it, we've all heard of that classic reload ping of the Grand. Right. These these weapons had a, a heft to them and a power to them that really showcases what happened in the war. And you're right, it was brutal, right? right. It was it was a brutal, visceral, yeah. gritty war. And you can really feel that in our weapons. And our audio team and our character modeling team and our animation team, they went out and found these weapons with our military story to capture and bring the spirit of that to life. Right, right. Well, you know, I gotta, I gotta go ahead and do this. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of the weapons and mastering them and whatnot. And one mode that I really like to use these in the zombies. <laughs> I know me and you were talking about yeah, zombies. I love zombies. Uh, can you tell us what to expect on that tell zombie us something, front? please. Yeah, something. Right. <laughs> well, yes, we are making zombies. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah. So this this zombies is uh, is taking a, a different turn. Okay. Um, you know, I think every studio wants to put their own signature on it, and we just go by our default, which is uh, very realistic, very gritty. Yeah. Uh, we talked about Dead Space before. Yeah, this is uh, Dead Space meets, um, 
Eat zombies. That's oh, the wow. best thing you could possibly say. <laughs> I'm so excited to hear that. That's great. Because, uh, I mean, I love, uh, I, love, I love all the Call of Duty games, but zombies is kind of what keeps me coming back. Right. I'm not quite up to the up to par on the skill front in multiplayer right. but yeah. co-op with zombies i can i can really do some right. damage so right. well, zombies we, were introduced in the world war ii setting yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. call of duty so yeah. it's a deep it's rich story to zombies spent a long time on the story we've been working on zombies as long as any other mode wow so, that's great that's yep. great so it's got sort of equal placement for you guys very rich yes that's There's great. a really passionate team back home right now excited for their chance to show off and we know that yeah we've got more announcements coming on zombies but yeah it's a it's definitely a sledgehammer games take on the original nazi zombies and yep. where we can go from there that's great i think it's nice. so important um you know we have three different really top tier studios that work on Call of Duty these, uh, these days. And yeah. it, it's it's awesome that you guys have that sort of freedom to really put your studio signature stamp on. Yeah, it. yeah. You know, the, uh, they come to us every time we're working on a game and, and uh, Activision is just so about having a passionate team. What do you want to work on? What do you want to make? Yeah. Because they know passion fuels everything. It's not just sort of checkbox guys oh. in suits and ties right. sitting around typing at computers. Yep. I mean, this I've been to the studio. I was there just a couple weeks ago. People are crunching away, but I mean, this the mood is really positive. People are really excited, so. Yeah, no, thank you for that. It is very true to echo what Glenn said. Sledgehammer Games has its culture and development methodologies right. and creative processes that are unique to us, and Activision supports that, and that allows us really to have a team that you saw, which really, they dig in to deliver something they're proud of because three years is a long time to commit your life it, it yeah, to man. anything. Oh, right? yeah. It is. Yeah. And now to, to bring it here and to be able to share it with the world, with right. fans. Right. I mean, I'm coming out of my skin with excitement. And right. One other thing for you. I know we have a, a beta, multiplayer beta. It's That's coming right. up. It'll be first on PS4. That's right. Put my plug in there. Uh, <laughs> tell me a little bit about that beta. Like, what what's the deal with that? I have to tell you, fan feedback is what we live for. Yeah. And yeah. it starts here and it continues in the beta. So you'll see some really cool things that we brought to the show floor and we have right here in your booth and new things that we'll bring to the beta in, in August, first on PlayStation. Nice. Um, headquarters, divisions, war, new maps, new modes. There's gonna be a lot. It's be sounds wow. like a beefy beta. I know. It's gonna be a beefy beta. Yeah, and then I also wanna check in, I was uh, watching the trailer earlier on PlayStation's YouTube channel in 4K and I know you guys are planning PS4 Pro support. That's and right. I know last year's Call of Duty looked incredible on the Pro. You know, what, what's the story? Are you going to be in 4K on PS4 Pro? Yeah, I mean, that's what we're uh, planning on. But I don't know how much we're talking about. <laughs> uh, but you're gonna, it's going to be a bigger experience on Pro. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the, the, this generation consoles allows us to, to do more than we've ever been able to do before yeah. with yeah. HDR and 4K and... And we're excited. We're excited to have a great partnership with you guys. Right. Awesome. Right. awesome. Guys, I think we're about out of time, but uh, game comes out November 3rd. It does. So uh, that was Call of Duty World War II.